we're going to look at the same circuit, Z, excuse me, Cn uh, base, looking in right here. So Z in base looks like um, that junction of the transistor we have the uh, RE and we have an R prime E right there and beta DC of the transistor also plays a part. So Z in base is equal to beta DC times R prime E plus R E. Uh, uh, let's say beta is, this is a little bit higher current transistor, so beta would be 100. So we have 100 times 25 ohms plus 4.3k ohms. Did you know that happens to be in parallel through a cap, and we're going to assume the cap has uh, zero ohms of impedance, RL. Okay, so RL is 10K. So this is not quite correct. So let's make a little change to this. Okay. All right. 4.3 K ohms in parallel with 10 K ohms. All right, so the combination of 4.3 in parallel with the 10K, you notice these these two here are in parallel with each other, comes out to 3,007 ohms. So we have 100 times 3032 um, ohms. And 100 times that is 3032 and two zeros. So we have 303k ohms, 303.2k ohms for Z in base. Uh, Z in stage is looking from this point right here. What is the power supply C there? So power supply for the AC sees RG. Uh, hopefully the cap is X sub C is equal to zero ohms or really close to it. Um, R1 goes to VCC, which is ground to AC. And R2 does too. So R1 in parallel with R2. And then we have this Z in stage thing, or Z in base thing. This okay, so that's what the AC sees looking in. Um, R1 in parallel with R2 is 5k ohms. We've already discussed this as 300. And so the answer to this one, let me get out my calculator. Okay, CN stage is equal to uh, RG plus, if there's any X sub C here, in this case we're assuming there isn't, uh, 5k ohms in parallel with 303.2k ohms and this comes out to 
four nine one nine. And it's six hundred plus that. So we got five thousand five hundred and nineteen ohms. for Zian stage.